okay so till now we have discussed about the concept of a transition system what is called a transition function then we have discussed about the a kind of specific kind of transition system called as finite automata which has a finite number of states and transitions and we have also gone through some of the properties that a finite automata has now i will discuss a specific kind of finite automata called as dfa so dfa is a specific kind of finite automata where the transitions are deterministic in nature okay that means given a state and a input symbol there is only there is only one and only one possible transition in the finite automata okay it cannot have more than one transitions it cannot have zero transitions okay so that is so this this is the main property a deterministic finite automata has okay so 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 now let us uh, quickly go through the mathematical definition of a dfa so a dfa is represented mathematically as five tuple okay what is the uh, what is the meaning of five tuple that means it has five properties so m is the name of the dfa which is represented as q i'll go through each of this q sigma delta q0 and f0 okay so 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 uh, what is q so m is the name of the automata name of the dfa then q is the set of states finite states the dfa has okay sigma is the alphabet set as i have already told you so this alphabet set from this alphabet set we create the input strings and feed it to the automata okay then we have delta as the transition function which is nothing but a mapping of q and alphabet set to q okay so it is it is deterministic that means for a given state and a given input symbol i always reach only a single state that is that is that belongs to q okay and i have q0 as the starting state and so and f0 as the set of final states okay so mathematical definition of dfa is this one okay now in exam uh, questions are asked mainly related to designing a dfa for a given language okay so so to answer this question we should know how a dfa is represented okay so <coughs> dfa is represented in two ways first is the uh, first i have already told you it's represented as a five tuple okay so this is one way of representing a dfa another way is what we call as state transition diagram okay so what is a state transition diagram in a state transition diagram i have nodes so it, so it is basically a directed graph i can say okay so it is a directed graph of states and transitions okay now every node so every vertex of this graph represent a state okay so every node represent a state and there exist a edge from one state to another so every directed edge represents a transition okay so it has node or vertex that corresponds to states the directed edges corresponds to transitions okay you have levels across this edge so each levels in edge represents what the input symbol i am processing okay and 
since the df since any uh, the dfa has a starting state and final states that means those starting so the starting state and the set of final states should be marked separately okay we should some marking on the starting state as well as some final state so the starting state is preceded by an arrow okay and the final states are represented like two circles surrounded okay so so this is the way we represent a state transition diagram understood